In this video, we're going to look at the pen settings controls. As you can see, I've disabled um, the fuzzy filter, the diffuse filter, and I've just got the unsharp mask on now. And what we're going to do is we we'll open the pen settings panel here. You can see at the top we have all of these different um, drawing sets. So we can select one, and DrawingBot will instantly update um, with those new pens that we've selected. And you'll see the pens are then appearing in this table here. And what I can do is I can actually click on these little check boxes to disable and enable certain pens. If we want, we can also add more pens to this drawing set. So at the moment we can go to Copic Original. Um, we can go, we could add a few blue pens maybe. I think the orange is potentially clashing, so I'm just going to right click and delete the orange there. Um, let's add a few more, maybe some lighter orange. Might go a little bit better with the blue potentially. Let's see what else we've got. Maybe one of the these these oranges might. But you can see just by adding a few more pens, um, the style has changed dramatically. Obviously, you might not have this many pens to draw with, but you can find the right um, combination. Also, it's very possible that these pens are not the ones that you have in your collection. But luckily, you can just add your own pen. So what we can do is we can click on the type here, double click. Let's rename it. Maybe let's call it Sharpie. Um, let's say it's a blue Sharpie. And we can hit this little button here to choose a color for our pen. So let's select a blue. Let's find one that maybe maybe works with our drawing here. And then what we can do is we can actually go down to presets with the pen selected. Go preset, save preset. And you'll see it comes up with the preset category of Sharpie. And we're going to keep that and hit apply. And now instead of just the defaults, we can come down to Sharpie and add our blue Sharpie again. Um, and this will be still here when we restart drawing bot. Um, you can also do the same for the drawing set. So at the top, we can go to presets, save preset, and we can say our drawing set. If we hit apply on this, now, under user, we have our new drawing set, which includes all of these pens. So if we go back to the default drawing set, you'll see we've lost all of our pens. But since we've saved the preset, if we go back to user, we can actually re-enable our drawing set. Um, so you can see we have this weight column here. Um, if we change one of these values, let's change the weight of the black pen to be 1,000, you'll see that now a higher percentage of the lines are being drawn with this black pen. And if I scroll across the table even more, you can actually see we have a percentage column here and the shapes column. So we can actually see exactly how many um, shapes are being drawn with each pen. So maybe we could change this back to 100. But we could then also decrease the weight, maybe take it down to 4 or something. And you'll see a much lower percentage of the lines are now being drawn with this black pen. Um, let's increase it back to 100. We can also right click on a pen and go increase weight and this will change it by increments of 10. We can also reset the weight or decrease the weight in increments of 10. Um, so what you can do with this is you can start to fine tune um, which pens you want to favor. Maybe we really want the blue pens to be a bit more dominant so we could increase their weighting here. And you can see that we are quickly altering the style of the image and changing the distribution of pens. So that's how you can start to favor individual pens. But actually, we can go a step further and we can change the distribution type. And there are a few different options we have. At the moment, we're on even weighted. So the distribution type is actually chosen by the different pathfinding module. So you'll see after you run it, sometimes the distribution type will change. But then if you set it to your own um, value, that will stay the same. So let's try even. So what even does is it basically ignores the weighting. Um, so you can see the percentages are the same, even though we have a different weighting here. If I change to even weighted, you'll see that this pen has a higher percentage now because it's taking into account the weight as well. Next, we have random. As you can see, this has created a bit of a mess with this drawing. But if we switch to some of the other pathfinding modules, for example, let's go to Voronoi Circles. I'm just going to change a couple of the settings here. And if we run it once, so you can see after running that pathfinding module, our distribution type has changed to single pen. 
But now if we change it to random, you'll see that every single circle is being drawn with a different color of pen. And this can create some very cool results. Um, we can also go to random weighted. This will still assign a random pen, but it will also follow our weighting. So you see, because we increased the weighting of our blue pens, we're getting a lot more here. I think also I should probably, I'm gonna reduce the point count again. I'm gonna run it one more time because we can't quite see. So yeah, you can see now all of these different um, circles being drawn with different colors. So that's random. That's that's probably the, the main time you would come to use it. Next we have pre-configured. In some situations, the pre-configured type will be activated by the pathfinding module and it means that the pathfinding module will take control over which pens are set. And then finally we have single pen which will draw with one pen only. I'm going to go back to sketch lines, run it one more time just so we're back where we were at the beginning. Um, now let's have a look at order. Um, so order is quite important. Um, at the moment um, DrawnBot is actually completely ignoring the order that we have in this table. Instead, it's reordering the pens from the darkest to the brightest, and then it's assigning those pens to lines in the drawing um, to best match the drawing's original brightness. But if we go to lightest first, it will do us the other way around. So the lightest pens will now be used for the darkest areas of the image. And as you can see, this um, creates some very interesting side effects. Next, we can go to displayed. So this is now ordering the pens exactly in the order as we have in this screen here. And then we have reversed, which will do the same, but this time starting from the bottom. So this blue pen is now being used for the darkest areas. Um, again, there are a few situations where this order can come into play, or if you want to be very specific, you can go into displayed and say, actually, I want uh, this pen to be, um, you know, drawing the darkest lines and you can come up with some interesting styles this way um, but for the best results allowing drawing bot to order it for us is often the best way which is why darkest first is the default and then finally we have the blend mode this is just a visual tool um, and also it will show up in exported images so if you like the styles that you can create with different blend modes then you can um, export those There's a few different ones. I think Multiply is a very good one, often looks quite good. Um, and also Darken can often come up with some nice results. So that is basically the pen settings. The, the only thing I haven't mentioned is that you can also change the stroke size of the pen. So if you're using some pens of a different size, remember if you set your pen here, um, this will actually affect your stroke size. So a stroke size of one while our pen width is 0 0.3, means that we're rendering a 0 0.3 millimeter pen. If we had a 0 0.6 millimeter pen as well, we would change the stroke size to two. Um, it's hard to see here, but it is drawing the, the darker lines with a thicker color, with a thicker pen now. If I disable that, you can see the very slight difference there. We can also reduce it. So if we went to 0 0.5, that would be a, uh, a 0 0.15 millimeter pen. So you can see how you could um, match if you had pens which were a different size. So that was a quick guide of how to use the pen settings. Um, in the final video, we will have a look at exporting our drawing.